How to insert an interactive checkbox in Word 365. Hey everyone, this is Deborah, and I'm going to demonstrate how to insert an interactive checkbox into a Word 365 document. Okay, on my screen I have absolutely nothing. So before you put in a checkbox uh, for, let's say that you're creating an interactive form and you want to have a checkbox for people to check, online of course. To do that, the best way to start is first insert a table. So we're going to click insert on the tab here. We're going to go to table and in this case I'm just going to put in one or two rows. Okay, I, We don't need extra columns for what I'm about to show you so I'm just going to put in a couple of rows. Okay, And uh, the reason why we do this is because a table is an excellent tool to keep online forms that you're creating aligned correctly. And of course, in the end, you can either display the lines of the table, the border lines, or uh, make them invisible, depending on your personal choice. OK, before we start uh, with the checkbox, notice where my flashing insertion point is located. OK, it's at the very far left side. Well, if I were to put the checkbox in right now, um, there would be a problem because I wouldn't be able to move over enough to type any kind of line or text to tell you what to do with the checkbox. So before you put a checkbox in, it's always a good idea to press your spacebar key one or two times to move it over so that you can, and then go ahead and type the text. Okay, here's an example of, a, of text for a checkbox. Okay, so I want to have a checkbox here in front of, yes, I will attend the conference. And I want to make sure that it's on the far left side and there's space between the flashing insertion point and the first word of the text. Okay, I did that. So now we're ready to insert the checkbox. However, if you look on my ribbon up at the top, you'll notice that uh, there is no tab that we can use that has a, the checkbox tool on it. So you have to bring in a tool, or rather a tab, that isn't normally the default setting for Word. The tab we were looking for is the Developer tab. How do we do that? Well, you go over here on the far left, you click File, scroll to the very bottom of the File menu and click Options. Then click Customize Ribbon. And over here under Customize the Ribbon under Main Tabs, you should see, you might have to scroll a little bit, you should see the Developer tab is already here, and uh, but it's not checked. So all you have to do is put a check mark in the Developer Choice, and then click OK. And now we have the Developer tab. If we click on that, it brings up all of the tools we need to create interactive content controls. Okay, So the one we want is this, the checkbox. So we're going to click that and it puts it right in. We do need to modify it just a little bit. I'm going to click this little three dot tab on the left to select the whole thing. Now we're going to click design mode because I'm designing this uh, content control. And then we're going to click Properties. Content Control Properties is a box you're going to become very familiar with if you work on forms a lot. We don't need to worry about a title so much. It would be okay to put one in, but uh, it really doesn't matter. So what we really want to do is go down here and put Content Control Cannot Be Deleted. Okay, that means that whoever's using my form won't be able to delete that that I put into it. You don't want to put a check mark here where it says contents cannot be edited. If you do that, then no one's going to be able to use the checkbox. So we leave that one blank. Now, if you look down here, you'll notice that it has defaulted to an X for showing a checkbox that has been clicked on. And you know, a blank checkbox for one that has not yet been clicked on. But you can change the X. You can turn it into whatever you want. So I'm going to click Change, and um, I'm going to go to Wingdings, 
And then I'm going to click a happy face. Then I'm going to click OK. Okay, notice now there's a happy face there and still a blank for unchecked. So I'm going to click OK, and that's done. Now I can get out of design mode, click away, and test it out. If I click on it, it shows a happy face. If I click on it again, it will show blank. So it's almost like a toggle. And so that's how you can insert a checkbox. One thing you have to always remember, though, is before you put the checkbox in, make sure there's going to be some space between where the checkbox will live and the text next to it. So type the text first, make sure there's a couple of blank spaces in front of the text, and then put your checkbox in.